Oh yeah, this neck massager is feeling pretty good after a long day. Oh, hey guys. Welcome to Half Price, where we find all the latest and greatest Amazon products, check them out, and find you some great deals on them as well. And this massager right here, strange massaging vest, might be as good as going to a Korean spa. Yes, you've heard me correctly. No, I'm just kidding. It's not that good, but it's actually pretty decent. I'm just gonna leave it on my neck and let it do its thing, but this is called a Shiatsu Neck and Shoulder Massager with Heat. So it comes in this box. There's not much in it other than the user manual, which, you know, you can go through. It tells you what all the buttons are. You can see it moving on the inside. It looks kind of like an alien creature. Those are the massage balls. There's six of them. So the controls are right here on the left um, strap, I guess you could call it. And there's on and off, which is the top button. The second one is uh, the kind of massage it gives you, whether it's together or each ball goes separate. Then there's a control for the speed. Then there's heat. And then finally, whether or not it vibrates. So it's made out of a uh, faux leather and then it's got a mesh right here. There's a zipper along the whole device, but I think that's just for when they create the actual product because you can't really open it. I guess you could, you would just have to like fish it out of there, but I don't think it's meant to be opened. And then when you put it on, you can use these straps in different ways. So it depends on where you put it on your body. The box actually shows you all the different ways that you can put it on your body. So you can do it up on your neck. You can do it a little bit lower on your upper back. You can do it around your waist. You can even put it on your stomach. And then as you're sitting there, I suppose you could put it on your lap and possibly, I don't know, vibrate your lap. <laughs> and then the plug-in is right here on the left side. It's powered by your wall power. It's not battery powered. It looks like maybe it could be. So if you wanna put it on your waist, then you can undo these straps right here. Just like that around your shoulders. Although I feel like that's kind of awkward to do. And I don't exactly know how to connect it that way. Something like that, I guess. So I've tried using it while typing on my computer and stuff and it feels pretty good. Overall, it does a pretty good job of massaging. The balls are a little bit hard. It's not as good as like a regular massage that you would get from a professional, but I think it's decent. You know, if, if you're just sitting there working on the computer, um, you can't really be mobile with it. You have to take it off because it's plugged into the wall. So I feel like if it was battery powered, that would give it extra versatility. Like if you wanted to get up and go grab a uh, LaCroix or something from your fridge, you'd have to take it off and then strap it back on. So it's not as versatile as I think it could be. So my favorite position for this massager is my upper back right here. And you kind of just keep it in your, keep your wrists inside of it to hold it up or you can strap it down. And then neck of course, and then lower back. So other than the normal massage, there's the vibrator, which Feels pretty good in addition to the massage. I like to have it on. And then there's also the heat. The heat is just not that strong. So I feel like they should have just, there's just no point to it really. I can't even feel it really. I wish it was either hotter or just, you know, not even there because it doesn't do anything. So it runs for 15 minutes and then it turns off after that. You could turn it back on if you wanted to. Overall, I think it's pretty good. I would say it's a little bit clunky as far as figuring out how to strap it down on you. And I wish it was battery powered actually. I think that would be cool if there was something like this out there, but it was battery powered so you could walk around massaging yourself while you go and have lunch or something like that. Might be a little weird looking, but could be cool. For 50 bucks, I'm not sure that I would buy something like this. I'd probably look around to see what else there was out there, but it's a little bit unique because it's wearable. It's something you wear versus like a hand massager or there's, there's all sorts of weird massagers out there. <laughs> Uh, so I do think it's a little bit unique and cool because of that. But with our deal at $25 instead of 50, I think it's a pretty cool price. And if you like trying different ways to get massages and obviously going to a massage parlor where professional massagers are like 60 bucks an hour, that gets pretty expensive. So check it out if you like massagers, if you like trying different massagers. The link is in the description and let me know if you buy one of these or if you have another one that maybe is wearable. Maybe there's a battery powered one that you could tell me about. That would be super cool. And I'm just gonna sit here and probably relax for the next half hour. So but yeah, I'll see you guys next time. I'm just gonna chill for a little bit. Oh uh, yeah. Bye.